Somebody on this computer here? Hmm. Dude, Tong left his email on. I have to write a little message here. To Lily Wu, can you go out next week to the Noodle House? with me to get my max on with you. Did you guys see what Miranda's did to me, man? That's hella booty, man. <laughs> I'm going to get him back, though. Watch this. Let's see here. I know what I'll do. I'll send a message to the entire Brown team asking them if they want to go out to lunch. Hello, awesome Brown team. I'd like to take you guys out to lunch. Just name the time and place. Have a productive day. Miranda's. Lunch at. What are you talking about? Didn't you get the email? We were going to lunch. Um, we like the company is going to lunch. Oh, the Brown team. That's Tom great. Tom didn't tell you. Richard didn't tell you. Well, uh, no. Oh well, we're all excited, ready to go. What? I'm sorry. I think I missed something altogether. <laughs> You know that little email we got over the internet and told us we were all going to You got an email lunch. from me or from somebody else? No, it was from you. Don't you remember? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, wow. wow. Yeah, ask Tina. Ask Richard, ask Evelyn. Tina? Tina, are we going to lunch? Yes, we are. Um, did you get an email too? Christine just said you. I got an email and it says that you were going to take us out to lunch. Wow. All right, I need to talk to Monica, I think, right now. Monica, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. You seem really happy today. You're not normally this cool. I do totally, before we go any further, I want to tell you, you totally made my brown team's day. Because oh. taking them to lunch after the whole thing with the tongue joke and all that, I know you didn't have to, but they definitely appreciate yeah. it. And so do I, because it's, it's rare that we um, get such good feedback from our sales reps, and they, they love you. They think you're, like, you know, the best. So. It's, it's something probably all of us reps should have done, so the yeah. meaning that the joke came up is probably a good thing in the end, but yeah. anyway, we got a good opportunity to get tongue back here. Okay. And uh, what, what I was thinking is maybe we could do a will call, uh -huh. and with your help, um, maybe we could contact one of his, like, irritating customers. Do you oh have any God. idea? I know exactly who we can call. Um, Lori Hunter at Lori. Merrillage Mechanical okay. is um, one of his customers. Yeah. And we actually, it'll be really convincing because we had a little rough start mm -hmm. in the beginning. But I bowl with her on Fridays, so she's kind of hung in there and she's, she's you know, giving us a second chance. But he'll be pretty Very nice. alarmed if he gets a call from her. <laughs> that would be sweet if we could just set it up where, like, he has to, we'll call the stuff. And oh, then, yeah. I don't know, somehow it works so I could film it, too, where where we could actually, I'd be, I'd have a good, like, vantage point to film it. So maybe we could, we'll call it here yeah, or, or somewhere around here. Well, let's see, film it. Um, well, I mean, we could use the oldest trick in the book. Act like something went wrong with her order, and he has to go there personally and take care of it. Okay. You know, straighten it out. And Works she is. A.M. from Monica Taylor. Hi, Tongue.
this is Monica. I'm going to mark this message urgent. I just got a call from Lori Hunter at Merrill Lynch Mechanical. Uh, we've been doing so good for a while, so unfortunately um, I was not happy to get a call from her, but we had a major shipping error, and I'm not quite sure yet if it was on our part or the warehouse's part, but she received 17 cases of blue paper, and she's pissed. She's very, very upset to figure out what we're going to do about this. Thanks. 10.23 a.m. Yes, Monica, this is Lori with Marriage Mechanical, and I received an order yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to check it in until this morning. And on between the two orders, I had ordered 17 cases of copy paper, and they sent me the wrong paper. We are now out of paper. I need to get paper here as soon as possible. Um, this is a major problem. I need to get that paper here right away. If you could contact Tung or somebody, but I need to get that taken care of right now. If you could please call me back, my number is 785-5500. Thank you. End of message. In this car, that must be heavy. Maybe not for a martial arts guy, but it's got... There goes Tung. We can get it. Ugh, he moves too quick. He's... Tung Yuan. There he is. He actually got a dolly or a cart. I guess he couldn't uh, do it on his own. I, I think he was afraid to ruin his clothes, but he always wears that undershirt underneath, so I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. Uh, you know that. Hard work. Look at him. Those glasses are fogging up a little bit. Bend over, tongue. Well, he's, he's an overachiever, Lori. Oh, okay. Look at him go. Look at that dolly. That dolly is taller than he is. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay. Damn, I'm sure he's saying damn. Well, I'm going to add in the audio. Third objection, call, take it. So. Okay, okay, cool. All right. And I, and I thought this guy... Monica. I mean, no problem. Because I know Monica. She called up, I'm like, sure, I'll do it for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad everything's okay. Then. I thought this guy <laughs> beat me up here. <laughs> no, there's just more to go. Look at that. Oh. Well, thank you for getting it out here. <laughs> Dana, what do you have here, ma'am? Woo! 